Let's start from the beginning. I didn't think what happened to me would become a movie. I started filming my life to distract me from my life. A way to make room for myself in the moment I was living. A cancer, the virus, loneliness. Isola means island, but its eye reminds the iPhone, my only camera for this movie, and the word sola means alone. I did not choose to get sick, obviously, as I did not choose the story you are about to learn. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I realized it when my best friend called me saying that she was also sick, a cancer as well, but different kind. She needed to find a way to go through things with less fear. Telling her story too was a way to make her head less scary. I understood from the beginning that this movie has its own logic. I was and still am only its witness. Practically, the movie asked me to be loose, to be open, not as much in control as I normally am. I decided that the material I initially shot only for us as memories and a kind of therapy could become a story, a movie, when it mysteriously came true, appeared through the work of the editor, Natalie Cristiani, who always followed the wild nature of the material. And so, Isola took its shape, its title and its music, everything on its own. This movie is about our recent world, but also about the power of storytelling. And despite being shot with a cell phone, it has a look from the past. Having the most intimate relation with the medium, my telephone and the actress, myself, most of the time, was a powerful experience. I changed my way of seeing things as their appearance, their formal aspects somehow now come later. It is strange, wild, to introduce a film shot entirely with a, my mobile phone with a video shot in the same way. It looks like an extra scene that acts as a temporary conclusion to a story of never-ending friendship and faith.